Happy 2022, everyone joining me live on this channel, Oja's Web Digital Solution. It's been a long time since I published video on this channel, but I promise now I'm going to be giving you more and more quality videos that will help you change your business, especially if you are the one who has been having challenges with advertising his or her products on google ads so today i'm gonna share something very important with you so if you are joining me in this live video feel free to comment in the comment section share this video with your friends and family and like and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that i can continue to give out more quality content that will help people improve their business in 2022 and beyond so today i have something very very important i'm going to talk about and that is a serious issue on google as a lot of people are getting their business frustrated because they are unable to advertise on google so what exactly am i going to talk about today i want to talk about google ads on approved substances if you are somebody that say health products supplement weight loss and so on if you are somebody that sell this kind of products then you might have been facing this type of issues on google and that might have even resulted in your account being suspended then you ask is it how i will continue with all these suspensions disapproval problem you need to find a way to get your product approved on google so that you can run your advert efficiently and get results from google so what exactly is google ads on approved substances all about what is it talking about does it mean that your product is not approved by google or by government or by any other regulatory agencies that is what i want you to understand in this particular video google ads actually have a lot of policies and other proof substances is one of the policies that governs products like supplements and drugs now if you are in these niches either you are selling supplements or you're selling drugs and maybe we've set up your advert and the advert got disapproved and you see the warning that your advert has been disapproved or unfortunately you can't get suspended and you see that the reason is because you are advertising unapproved substances then if you want to find a way to advertise this particular product or services you need to be able to get your advert approved without violating the policy so if you don't understand what the policy is talking about you might not be able to overcome this challenge so in a simpler term unapproved substances doesn't really mean that what you are selling is not approved the only thing it means in most of the cases because i've worked with a lot of people and i've realized that unapproved substances doesn't really mean that a product you are selling is not approved it only means that the product you are selling is regulated and in most cases if the product is regulated it is categorized under prescription medicine and in that situation they are not expecting everyone on the internet to be able to sell that kind of product if you have a license and you are approved pharmaceutical company you can apply for the special consideration with google and when you get approved all these products will be able to advertise it without having any problem but if you are not a authorized pharmacy that has been certified by google you will continue to face these challenges so it doesn't mean that the product itself is not acceptable or is not approved by the government but it means this product they are regulated and when they are regulated it can only be prescribed by a qualified doctor of pharmacies so that is the major reason why you might start seeing or you might have been seeing unapproved substances if you're trying to advertise some pharmacy for so some medicine or supplement on google ads but with this not so many people will be able to pass the certifications the google certification and not so many people are in the a pharmaceutical industry or who have the license to sell over this product but since these products are not actually bad they are not bad products they are approved but they are only regulated but you want to start selling this product these are maybe probably you might have even invested a lot of money in purchasing this product in large quantity and at the end of the day you realize that google is trying to frustrate your effort then you start to wonder is it how it's going to be are you going to be able to sell this product or so now 
That is why I'm bringing up this particular video because I want you to understand that you are still you, you you can still advertise this product if you know what you are doing because that is one of the things I do. I advertise some of this product for people and myself. If you are having the challenges, I can be very sure that you should still be able to advertise if you know what you are doing on Google. Now, can this lead to account suspension if your product falls under this category? Definitely. Almost every Google Ads policy can lead to an account being suspended. So account, uh, uh, unapproved substances is one of those policies that can lead to account suspension. And you know the implication when your Google Ads account is suspended, you might not be able to create another account and you will not be able to advertise your business. So that is why you have to be very careful when you are trying to sell some product that fall under this category. So make sure you have a good understanding of what you're selling. So if your product is head product and you know it contains some very sensitive substances, especially if you are selling supplements, sex enhancement drugs or weight loss drugs, most of these products have some regulated substances that can only be prescribed by qualified personnel. So if you are selling all of these products, you have to be very careful when you are advertising it on Google Ads so that you don't go ahead and violate the policy I'm talking about and you don't get your account suspended by Google. So you have to take note of this. And when you know all of this and you are very cautious with how you go about it, you should be able to get your advert approved and run on Google. So now, if you have been facing these challenges for a while and you are maybe you are getting frustrated already, then you start asking the very obvious question, can I still get my ad advert approved on Google? What can I do to get my advert approved? There are a couple of things you can do to get your advert approved. I will talk about only one. And that singular thing you can do to get your advert approved is to avoid using the name of that particular sensitive product in your advert. For example, if you are advertising a, a, a particular supplement that has Viagra in it, I'm not saying Viagra is not approved by Google, but I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm only using this because Viagra is a very popular uh, active ingredient in, in most of these Afro D6 medicine. So when you are selling this and you know maybe this substance uh, have a, a Viagra in it, and you know that maybe Viagra is a regulated substance, is a, is a control substance that can only be prescribed by a, by a qualified person. You don't want to include that name, Viagra, in your ad or in your product title. So you want to make sure that you find a way of writing your title without including that particular name. You might also be wondering that, okay, if I do this, I might not be able to get my product to the right audience, I might not be able to say, but the truth is that if you are, if, if, if your landing page is properly configured and you use the target keyword that is exactly what you are selling. For example, when you go to Google, you, you, you are selling a, a, a product that contains Viagra, but because you want to be approved, you don't want your advert to be disapproved for unapproved substances, then you decide to remove Viagra from the name of the advert of, uh, from the name of the product or whatsoever, the, you might start wondering, maybe you will not get the right order, but it is not true because you are targeting keywords on Google, or even if you are not using the, the, the search ad, if you are using shopping ads, you are displaying the pictures to the people. So they already know the keywords they entered on Google. So those are the keywords you are targeting. But if you are using shopping campaigns, you already have the pictures of that product there. And when they search, they see the pictures of the product or the keyword they enter triggers your advert that comes up then they go to your landing page. And on your landing page, you definitely have more information about that product. So you should be able to go ahead and find a way to tweak this so that you can get your advert approved on Google and you won't have to bother yourself with the unapproved substances issue on Google Ads. So this is what I plan to talk about today. And I believe with this short video, you should be able to get your product approved on Google. Or if you're still having challenges getting it approved, or you are maybe your account has been suspended and you don't know what to do again to get this type of product advertised on Google, don't hesitate to ask questions or contact me to request for my service. In fact, 
Now I'm offering a very, very unique opportunities to everyone who wants to use my service. If you are selling products on your e-commerce website, I'm going to work with you on a, a, a three to five percent basis. And you're not going to pay me unless you are driving the results you are looking for. So that is the amazing opportunity I'm going to make open to everyone who wants to use my service in 2022 and beyond. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comment section of this video and I will address every single question and I will make sure I do all my best to help you run your advert on Google. I hope you have prepared yourself for 2022 so that we can do this together and get our business going. Thanks again for joining me in this video and don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once again, bye-bye.